to the city of Leipzig. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's RB Leipzig taking on Valencia. Well, Derek, this is the best club competition in the world. I used to love playing in these games under the floodlights. It's different for the fans too. They enjoy these nights. Special, special buzz in that dressing room. I can guarantee you that. This is what they'll be facing today. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And there's Champions League group stage contest. Can he make this move count? Well, goalkeepers will sometimes make it look more spectacular than it needs to be. Well, he made a massive meal of that one, didn't he? And that's the case today. Emil Forsberg. Emil Forsberg takes it on! He's gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Given away. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. A corner will ensue. And now the delivery. And it's Rodrigo. Oh, a lovely ball. He's just got to continue his run. And a penalty awarded, spot kick coming up. The referee has given a penalty following that clumsy challenge. And how important is this? Well, a big chance to go into the lead from 12 yards. What an opportunity. Back of the net, keeper couldn't do anything about it. Now let's go back to the goal that was scored. Emil Forsberg. Strength and control, a big part of his game. He's on again. Can he give them the lead? The 
Well, we're going to see that again, and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it, and then watch this headed goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. The current state of affairs. Marcel Zabitza. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. And a bit more analysis as regards the goal. Marcel Halstenberg in possession, Yusuf Paulsen. And there's the feed into the box. And the defender takes care of business. And Camper. And it's gone just narrowly widely. Timo Werner. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Well, there is a very clean business. Carlos Soler. And it's with Coppola. And fed forwards. Tremendous. Last man back. And job done. Conrad Leimer Timo Werner given away and whipped into the box I must admit I thought he was going to score with that Berg has it illegal play and hence a free kick Kevin Kumpel delivered into the area here and heading it just over the bar. The ball with Zabitza. Lima on the ball. It's a very neatly constructed attack. What can they... And a chance for them to nudge in front. He's taken on the shots, but he's failed to... Comes out of Gensh now. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And an example of a counter attack that went nowhere. Kevin Kumpel carrying a genuine threat here thumps clear a corner will ensue substitution time it is and a deep ball in well the bar can beat the goalkeeper's best friend and just the header that was required the goal they were in search of Well, quite a lot of the time you need good movement to get away from your marker, but you also need brilliant, brilliant delivery. And this is as good as it gets. What a header. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Substitution in the offing. It's a weighted pass. What can he do here? Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost two. Rodrigo! It's fair to say that is a moment he would love to have back, Lee. Well, I would have gone for power, but he went to place it in the corner. Not very good at all. Well, I want to see this one again, and there it is. I wonder how he gets so much power from that position, but he really does. It's a brilliant, brilliant effort. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. This goal of shifting emotions. Marcel Zabitza.
Well, let's see that strike again. First time is always very, very difficult to strike a ball. The timing has to be right, the technique has to be right, but above all, you have to concentrate on the ball as it's coming to you. You know you're not going to take a touch. Concentration is everything. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. And it is Gonzalo Guedes. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, he was close. Rodrigo and scope for them to produce something exciting well, that'll be a tangible end product and a goal well it's not a brilliant goal but it's a goal it's in the back of the net keeper couldn't do anything about it a chance to revisit the goal Here is Vaz. And Rodrigo has it. Gonzalo Gerdes. And playing it through the defence. Magical save lead. The okay, game, 90 minutes long. Can they keep the ball out? Of Great chance with that header. But he sent it up the ball again. And that's all there is time for. The referee's whistle for full time. It does finish in a draw. Well, regardless of the score, Derek, a draw tonight, you want a game to go on forever. That was the case tonight. 90 minutes was too short. What a football match.